What if you have a list of contacts that you need to upload all at once? That is where bulk imports come in. Let's go into it. First, go to the contacts in the navigation menu, then hit the import button on the top right, then choose import a file, and then start import. What kind of data is in your file? Since HubSpot allows you to import different types of information, you will find different options. This time, we will choose contacts and then hit next. Now, upload your spreadsheet. We left you guys a contact import template in the description of this video, but if you are using your own file, just make sure that all of the headers of every column are matched up with the corresponding property in HubSpot to make mapping really easy. Here's what an example of this should look like. You can also feel free to add more columns as you need, but keep the formatting. Scan this QR code if you do need more information about how to set up your import files. Once your file has been uploaded, choose how to import your contacts based on these options. You can either create an update contacts, which if you choose this option, rows that match will be updated, rows that do not match will be added as a new contact. You can also create new contacts only or update existing contacts only. Once that's done, select the language that matches the column headers in your file and then click next. Next, map your columns within your spreadsheet to the corresponding contact properties within HubSpot. You can see here that HubSpot has already pre-matched some of the properties, but it is really important that you do double check everything before finalizing your import. Just like when you're manually creating contacts, you must have a unique identifier, otherwise you will create duplicates. This is an email address for contacts or a domain for companies. Remember, this is what your file should look like. Finally, click the next button. You are going to want to give your file a name just to make it really easy to categorize everything and keep your list clean. Then finally click I agree to these terms and finish your import. HubSpot, depending on the size of the list, can take a little bit of time to import your contact details. So just wait a little bit here and then your file will be ready and good to go. If you do want to see the contacts within your file, go to view contacts and then you'll be able to see the list of contacts that you just imported. When importing multiple contacts, always make sure to use bulk import. It is honestly the easiest way to get everyone into your system by avoiding errors and duplicates. Now, always make sure your contacts have a unique identifier, the fields are properly formatted, and your mapping is accurate. That's all for today's video, guys. You have taken the first step to becoming a HubSpot Pro, but this is just the start of your journey. If you really want to master contact database management with HubSpot, make sure to check out our blog. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and also drop us any questions you have in the comments below. Now, if you feel like you're not seeing the ROI that you were promised from HubSpot, but you honestly just don't have the time to figure everything out, book a free consultation with us now. What we'll do, we're going to review your current setup and then share with you exactly how we've helped other companies like yours to audit, clean up, and then optimize HubSpot. Grab your free consultation using the link in the description now.